internet, here's a crafty thing to do. Decorating a gift bag with cardstock paper and hot glue. The example in this video happens to be for Sweet Sixteens. Unfortunately, I didn't really think to do this while I was making them, so you're not actually going to see any make footage. However, I'm happy to do a tutorial in the future if you'd like that. But until then, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. So, this is what I did. This is something that, of course, you could do for any event. Sweet Sixteens, graduations, retirements, new jobs, other milestone birthdays like 25, 50, 21, 18, 60, 70, 80. You can do it on a get well present. That's the beauty of it. Anything you want, any theme. I'm gonna use this one as an example because the gifts are already in here and the other one's gift is a little bit heavier and I'm really afraid of the bag breaking. So I did a few things here. First thing I did was make a sketch of the design that I wanted to do. Second thing I did was take out all of my stuff, scissors, pencils, paper, and then I cut it all out according to the design that I drew. Once I did that, I laid it all out to make sure that I liked it. Then I started the gluing process. Here's a quick tip for hot glue. If you have a big thing like this, don't just add glue to the whole thing and then press it down. When you do that, the glue that you applied in the beginning is already cold. So you're actually raising the probability that whatever you're gluing is going to fall off. So what you should do is glue a little bit and press that down and then pick it up, glue other parts of it, press that down, wait till that's dry, pick up the rest, glue, press. You should be gluing in segments just to avoid certain parts of your glue drying before other parts. A fun little tip to do is, I gave a little bit of a 3D effect to these banners. This is something that I think I'm gonna teach you how to do in a separate video. And then there you go, that's the design of the bag. To add to it, I did a few things. To close the bag, I took a little bit of balloon string here, curled it, and then just tied it to close the bag in a way that was festive. I picked a color that worked with the design. Then what I did was, I took a little keychain with a poof on it, and then put it on the bag just for an extra effect. There's no perfect white on this bag, everything is champagne, so I found a champagne fluff and it's perfect. The other bag that has whites instead of champagne actually has a white fluff. What I like about this fluff is that it could do a few things. One, it could add to the extra decoration. Huh? Two, it's actually part of the gift. So it's a gift that is displayed and also makes the bag look pretty. Mm -hmm. The other thing I did was add special tissue paper to the bag so that it would pop. By special, I know it's not really showing up too well on camera, but this is champagne colored with little polka dots on it and it's really cute and it matches the overall color of the bag. Remember that if you're going to use champagnes instead of white, to stick to it. Because if you mix champagne and white and that's not your intention, it's gonna look a little weird and you're gonna notice a difference and you're not gonna like it. So everything here that looks white is actually a champagne color of some kind. The very last thing I did was, this might be a little hard to see on camera, but there's little there's little squiggly sticks. I'm gonna take one out to show you. Just a little stick with a swirl at the end. You can get this at almost any craft store. I think I got this at Michael's seven years ago. What? Actually, the funny thing about these is that I actually used these for my Sweet 16 and I still had an entire bag that was completely unused. So I was able to use it for this Sweet 16. I really like, I like that. I like when things go full circle like that. So I'm gonna put this back in. You can actually find these in the fake flower section because these are usually made to kind of amp up bouquets, but I thought it would be really cool to add some level to the bag. And that's it. I should probably include that when I did all of this, there was no gift in here. I definitely recommend not having the gift in here when you're crafting on it. Oh, one final thing, a little bit of a surprise that I think would be fun to do. I actually purchased Sweet 16 confetti and put it all in here, or half and half. I put half in this bag, half in the other bag. So they're gonna be so confettied when they open this. At least I think so, That's in my head it's gonna go well. I'm gonna show you the other one real quick. So same thing, I have the Sweet 16, I have the little pop-up names right here. I have a special tissue paper, this one is white with glitter on it, and there's a puff. It was on the other side, but there's the puff. This puff is a perfect white, the other one's a champagne. Also, one final thing before I let you go. I actually created each bag according to the color scheme of their Sweet 16 dresses. One dress consists of golds and browns and champagnes. The other dress is a baby blue with white. And I thought it would be fun to make the bags according to the dresses! So thank you everybody for watching, my name is Sam and I will see you next time. Bye!